Welcome to Jot Tell Movies. And please guys don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment on the next movie you would like to recap. Hacksaw Ridge Desmond Doss, a young boy, nearly kills his younger brother Hal in a fight in rural Virginia in the 1920s. Desmond is further cemented in his belief in the commandment thou shalt not kill by this incident and his background as a Seventh-day Adventist. Years later, Doss brings a wounded patient to the hospital where he meets Dorothy Schutte, a nurse. As their relationship blossoms, Doss confides in Dorothy his desire to pursue a career in medicine. Doss enlists in the army to work as a battlefield medic following the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. The decision has greatly angered Tom, his father, and a soldier of World War I. He proposes to Dorothy before departing for Fort Jackson, and she says yes. Sergeant Howell is given leadership over Doss. Although he is physically gifted, his refusal to use a gun or exercise on Saturdays causes him to be shunned by his fellow soldiers. Doss' religious beliefs do not qualify as mental disease, therefore attempts to dismiss him for psychiatric reasons by Howell and Captain Glover are rejected. Then, in an effort to torture Doss into leaving on his own, they subject him to punishing labor. He is assaulted one night by his fellow troops, but he refuses to name them and carries on with his training. Doss hopes to wed Dorothy while his unit is on leave after completing basic training, but his refusal to carry a gun results in an arrest for disobedience. Doss refuses to compromise his convictions despite Captain Glover and Dorothy's efforts to get him to plead guilty in order to be released without being charged when they visit him in jail. Doss enters a not guilty plea during his trial, but just before he is handed down a punishment, his father storms the courtroom with a letter from a former commanding officer claiming that his son's pacifism is protected by a law passed by Congress. Doss and Dorothy become married after the accusations against him are withdrawn. The 77th Infantry Division is in charge of Doss Regiment, which is deployed to the Pacific Theater. Doss Regiment learns that they are to relieve the 96th Infantry Division, which was entrusted with ascending and securing the Maeda Escarpment during the Battle of Okinawa, Hacksaw Ridge. During the first battle, both sides sustain significant losses. Doss earns Smitty's respect by rescuing his teammate. Doss tells Smitty that his dislike to owning a gun derives from almost shooting his drunken father who threatened his mother with a gun as the Americans camped there for the night. Smitty apologizes for questioning his bravery, and they make up. The Japanese execute a strong counterattack the following morning, driving the Americans off the escarpment. Howell and a number of Doss squad members get injuries on the battlefield, while Smitty is killed. Doss returns to save the dying soldiers after hearing their cries. Each time, he prays for another soldier to be saved as he carries the injured to the brink of the cliff and belays them down. The rest of the unit below is shocked to see dozens of injured people who were previously believed to be dead. Doss saves Howell at dawn and the two manage to flee Hacksaw while being fired upon by the Germans. Doss is informed by Captain Glover that the men are motivated by his selflessness and that they won't start the next assault without him. With more troops, they change the course of the conflict. Doss is able to save Glover and others by deflecting enemy grenades following an ambush orchestrated by Japanese forces pretending to be in surrender. The struggle is eventually won but Doss is hurt by a grenade blast. Doss walks away from the edge while holding the Bible that Dorothy gave him. The movie then cuts to historical footage and pictures that demonstrate how Doss received the Medal of Honor from President Harry S. Truman for saving 75 soldiers at Hacksaw Ridge. Dorothy and Doss remained wed up until her passing in 1991. At the age of 87, he passed away on March 23. 2006. Okay guys thank you for watching Jotel Movies and please don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment on the next movie you would like recap.